Ooh, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. Y'all, I'm back to talk about a very big mega new collection. Juvia's Place Nubian Earth. Y'all, I got all the lip glosses, all the lipsticks, and the palette. So before I jump all the way into all of this, y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly doing things. And on top of that, guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. And also on top of that, y'all, don't forget to hit the notification button while you're down there as well. So y'all, let's jump right on into all of these. Ooh, I cannot wait, why cannot wait? Starting off the bat, we are definitely talking about packaging because we gotta get into all of this. So starting off is the Nubian Earth palette. This is a beautiful palette. Of course, it has the Nubian. If you guys know from the original Nubian, the Nubian 2, it does have the Nubian goddess right here in the center. It's a very goldy, honey, bronzy palette. Very, very pretty. Has gold little patterns on the side and then Nubian earth and gold at the bottom and Juvia's place on the top. So it says in the back, this is a gorgeous palette featuring highly pigmented shades, perfect for day or night looks. And that's pretty much it. Nice. So y'all, when you open her up, we do not have a mirror. They said no mail, but it follows that pattern at the top. But we do have 12 pretty shades in this palette. We have few mattes. We have a matte with pinpoints of shimmer, and then also we have a bunch of shimmers in it here. They came out with four glosses in this whole collection, by the way. Starting off the choppity top, it is our Oasis one. This is a lip reflect gloss. On the front, they have the Nubian woman on the top, and then also on the tippity top, it does have the shade in Oasis right there, as the name there. Because all the packaging the same, y'all, just on the top, they have the little color and the name right there. That's the difference. But then the Oasis one, when you take it out, it is a very, very pretty, I wanna say it's more of like a, I wanna say like a, I wanna say peachy chrome, but it's really pretty. And then the next shade is Nubian Nude. This one, actually too, y'all, the toppers of these are really pretty. It has that gold design as well, and that kind of peachy tone top. Very cool tone nude brown. Very much that. Cool shade. So the next one is Mirage. This one's kind of like a rosy everyone nude with gold shimmer in there. I'm gonna talk about this one a little more in depth later. And then the last one out of the glosses, it's going to be Miro, I believe is the name of it. This one's a deeper, deeper rosy gloss shade. So it's not a shimmer, it's just a straight up gloss rose. All right, y'all. Next, we have six lipsticks. Oh yeah, and also too, on the lipsticks and the glosses on the front of the packaging, y'all, they do have the color on the rim as well on the outer packaging. And of course the circle on the top with the name, the shade. So these are really good when it comes to organizing because then you can see what color is on the top. Very smart. Nubian Sand. Now, these are velvety matte lipsticks, by the way. All, every single one of them. And one thing about this design of the lipstick, it has like this, I wanna say like this print of, like I wanna, I wanna say like it looks like sand. It looks like uh, um, the dunes. That's what it looks like, kinda has that design on the outside of the lipstick. It's really, really cool. The nudie sand shade is described as the sandy nude. The outer packaging fades from a light honey gold peachy nude down to a nice chocolatey warm brown. It's very cute. We've seen a lot of these designs on their lipsticks. I think they're just gonna have them fade out like that. That's their whole vibe with Juvia, which I am all here for it, you know? And the next shade is Soil. This shade is considered a soft yellow toned red. Interesting. And the next shade is Clay. This is described as a warm rust color. Ooh, y'all, I love this shade. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is called Nile. This is a warm golden brown. I love you. I love this one. It's so pretty. We're gonna get to it later, but I love it. Just know that. <laughs> Ooh, the next one is a very expensive name. This is Morocco. This is described as a warm chestnut brown. Very fitting, Morocco. And last but not least, it is going to be Sheba. This one is considered, ooh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rich shade. This is considered a cool toned dark chocolate brown. Look at this shade, just look at it. Just, oh, it's royalty, beautiful, truthfully. Oh, and let you guys know the palette is $20 and the lip glosses are 14 and the lipsticks are 15 each. So y'all, that is all the packaging, all the shades of everything. And you guys already can tell, I did get a look with it today. If you wanna get a close up of this look, and on top of that guys, see every single demo, swatch, everything of each gloss and each lipstick, you guys already know what you gotta do. Just stay tuned.
right, y'all? I hope you enjoyed all the swatches and even the close-up. I did. Let me jump back into this palette, y'all, because I can jump everywhere with this whole collection. Well, I'm gonna just say off the bat, this whole collection is mwah, chef's kiss immaculate. So I love my warm nudie browns. You guys already know that. So this, this was already right up my alley. A very, very royally deep chocolate, rich, very pigmented palette. Now, I know she came out with a lot of Nubians, very goldy palettes, like the Warrior. The first one is like, that's all the golds and bronze and just royalty colors you really need. But of course, Juvia's Place topped it and said, nope, you need more and you're gonna take more. And I said, you are correct. The only thing is, I wish, since they didn't have a mirror, you know, I wish they would have gave us names for each of the shades. And Juvia's Place brand period, I love the names. I like to look them up and see how pronounced them right after the fact. But I know a lot of these size palettes, they don't, but I wish they did. So the first shade right up here that has kind of like that marble effect to it, that is considered a white copper shimmer. Now, this is a really pretty color. It's like very, very light. You can add on top of a shimmer to make it even a little brighter or lighter. It's kind of like a more silky sheen shade versus more of a shimmer, but it's still nice. And the next one is a white silver shimmer shade. This is one of the prettiest and the most freaking pigmented. This is one of those shades you wear for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. It's just that star, just, just a burst. Like I'm wearing this on 4th of July. I just, it gotta blow up my eyes. It gotta make my eyes pop because this is such a beautiful shimmer. I was like, oh, I thought it was pressed glitter, but it's not. And it looks like it would be like, but it's not, it's a shimmer. It's, it's really pigmented y'all. So this one, you just need a little bit. It goes a very long way. I learned that kind of hard way a little earlier, but it does. So the next one is a soft gold shimmer. This is a very generic soft gold shimmer. It doesn't do anything wow wow for me, but it's still a pretty shade. The next one is a light beige nude. I love it. This I can set my upper under my eyebrow concealer with it and that's exactly what I did. It's really nice. I like that shade. It's pigmented, but also it blends exactly where I need it to, especially more neutral eye. This would be great if I wanted just to clean up neutral eye and set it with it. It's really good. And the next row, the first one is a shimmery soft rose. This is a very pretty shade. I don't see the rose in it per se, but I see the shimmer. And then the next one is described a brown shimmer. This brown shimmer is what I have in my halo eye look today. And it's a very pretty shade. It's really good because I did layer the first one and that chocolatey brown shimmer on top of each other. And it came out really pretty. I like it. Champagne shimmer, another very generic champagne goldy color. Again, very pigmented, but we've seen that shade so many times. So she's cute. She's been there, we know about her. Next one, it is a soft nude shimmer. Now this one, woo, I like this one. I like this one. This is a very pretty, ooh, it's like starburst, starlight, just very bright of a shimmer. I like that one. It's supposed to be just a soft nude. Everyone can rock that. Last row, it is a matte light brown. This one, it was okay. It didn't show out and really show like I really, really wanted to. It was just, it was okay. And the next one is a matte cool brown. This is the one I have as my background to transition into the darker browns. And this did actually pretty well. I like how it blurred itself out. It's really nice. The next one y'all is a dark brown shimmer. I'm gonna say it's a dark brown matte with pinpoints of shimmer. This is a beautiful shade. It is highly pigmented and highly powdery. I got parts of this brown on my bed y'all. Cause I was like sitting there swatching and playing with it. And every time you have to, blow it out y'all so it's very very pigmented very powdery so just be prepared that's all and the last shade is considered a matte chocolate brown very traditional nothing too surprising about it but it's still a shade we always need the shimmers outdid the mattes i want to say it's more like traditional browns not it's not as gold but it's not so much gold like the first warrior one this one is definitely more royalty the warrior one is the name like it's the warrior the one out there that has to glow and fight and all this this one's more of like she is the queen that you're fighting for like it's it's one of those a very royalty like palette so the oasis one y'all have it on top of this lip right now love her love it love it love it so oasis is described as a shimmery copper gold this is a beautiful shade on the bare lips, on top of the lip. This is very pretty. It kind of does bring out like a pinkish shimmer in there too. I don't know how that works, but I think it's the copper in it, maybe a little bit, maybe. The Nubian Nude, it is described as a chocolate brown. Now y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a very cool tone, neutral chocolate brown. This is not a traditional chocolate brown, like a Hershey's bar. Mm -mm. This is more like 
a milk chocolate brown. Yeah, you put milk in it and it loops it a little bit. That's what the shade looks like, especially on the lips and even in the tube. So this is a pretty shade. I think people that are more neutral tone or light cool tone chocolate browns, you're gonna love this. All right, y'all, this one is Mirage. This is considered a shimmery peach. Y'all, I have seen this online. They compared it to Fenty Booties, you know, gloss, the traditional gloss she came out with, period. I have to say, you looking mighty close to it. I think this one is a little, a little more extra shimmer in it. It's not so much gold with the peach like the Fenty one is. This one has a little different specks of shimmer. It's not just gold. So that's the only difference, but the peachiness of it, it's literally just like the Fenty gloss. It's kind of creepy. I was like, how'd y'all how get that Juvia? How'd you get it? If you guys want one that you're like, I don't want to see this. Is it too cool tone, too warm tone? I don't even want to know. I just want something that can pop on go and just look good and my lips look nice and juicy. M Mirage. Mirage is the one for you because this gives you all the looks. And you can put it with any eye look. This is one of those glosses, y'all. Any, any eye look. It is Moreau. This is considered a gray brown. Y'all, I don't know how it's a gray brown, but to me, this is a nice mauve rose, a deep mauve rose, but they consider it gray brown. I don't see the gray. I see a little bit of brown maybe mixed with the mauve, but I, don't, I guess gray brown is kind of mauve. This is a very pretty shade. This is a very royal-like shade, but I'm very picky when it comes to things almost plummy-like and whatnot. I think this is on the verge of it. So I'm just like, it's okay. If it was more brighter, again, is it that cool undertone? I'm like, uh, I like the warm or neutral at least, but this is a very much, well, this is very neutral. I'll give them that. This can be cool tone a little bit, but mainly neutral and I want warm. <laughs> but this is a very pretty shade regardless. Like I said, it's a very royal looking color though. It does match the whole thing. So with Nudie Sand, this y'all, you see from the swatches, I was like, the hell? It's nuts, really, really nuts. It looks i know some liners to look good but i said i don't use liner for these lip swatch videos i said you just you're gonna see it face value and let's just see and this is the girls that like the lighting nude and they pair it up all the time with a lip liner you're gonna love this one because this is a very very light what they consider it sandy nude they got that right this is a very bright nude shade i felt like this velvety matte lipstick is really nice this one was a lot more smoother than some other shades so that was a good thing especially in being lighter it thankfully it didn't feel chalky or really stuck on my lip so this was a nice smooth application with this one the soft yellowy tone red this did feel more definitely matte. Not velvety matte, but definitely matte. It felt like I had to work it up a little bit to build it up, especially on my bottom lip. For some reason, it, it had an extra little pull to it. And I was like, mm. But I do like this color. I feel like it's very more rustic looking. I do like that. I don't have a shade that's kind of the in-between. I have something that's more orangey or something that's more deeper red browns. But this is a very kind of lighter, rusty looking red. It's that yellow undertone with it is very nice. So if you do like a warmer, rustic, reddish, yellowish looking color, with a little bit of brown probably add in there, you'll like this one. Clay is considered that warm rust. I mean, it does look like a dark brick. It really does. It does fit the collection very well. I feel like anyone that likes that more rustic red, that brick red, that deeper brownish kind of red, you definitely will love this. Like I said, it's not so warm. It's a very neutral, deeper red. That's a little rusty. Like the soil one can be daytime and the clay one can be nighttime that. Alrighty, Nile. Y'all have this on my lip right now. Love it. My favorite. I seen it on Instagram. I said, I already love it. I knew Oasis lip gloss and then the Nile lipstick, this one. I already knew. I said, I love it. Put in, put in the cart, put in the bag. I already knew. I freaking love this one. Warm golden brown. Y'all know I love yellow Dijon mustard golden brown. I love those colors because it is my tone. That's why I said, look at this lip. Look at it. Get into it. I love this one, hands down. If you are more of a golden undertone like myself, you're gonna love this brown. Beautiful. This is definitely in my collection now to stay forever. Morocco, this is a gorgeous shade. I didn't know I was gonna like this one, y'all. What's she considered again? Warm chestnut brown. See, it's the warm with me. This is the one that I feel like you do this eye look and you have this lip on. It fits the whole royalty theme as well. Moreau and Morocco, these seem like the very much royalty shades. It's a very nighttime color, but it's very, very beautiful. It's one of those colors that's like, ooh, that's 
really nice. And it's a wild card. I didn't think I would like it this much, but it's up there with Niles. This is a very, very elite shade. Last and certainly not least is Sheba. Full tone dark chocolate brown, like the queen of queens. She's just magnificent. She's the final classic. She's amazing. This is the most deepest brown I've seen in a lipstick in a very long time. And it's, it's brown. It ain't red. I hate those real deep chocolate, so-called browns, but they have a red undertone. That's a dark red, mama. But this one is, girl, this is like deep Dutch chocolate, like rich, rich, like so sharp to change the back of your throat a little bit. That's how chocolatey this is. This is a very, very royal, deep goddess-like chocolate brown. You know, if y'all want the richest chocolate deep brown you've ever seen in your life, like a dark chocolate, like a real good dark chocolate, like the real expensive one, this is the shade for you. If you're like, I love those rich ones. It don't have that red undertone or nothing, y'all. It literally just has that rich brownness. I don't have nothing this deep in my collection. So this one again is added as well. So if you want something that is goddess-like and it's the richest chocolate brown you've ever seen, get Sheba. Y'all, this was the funnest, funnest collection I've had in a little while to review and swatch. All those tin lippies and that palette, this palette was gorgeous, y'all. I definitely recommend you guys buy it. I buy every single Juvia's Place palette, y'all, so I'm biased and I'm, don't steer you wrong, I promise. A really rich, royalty, not so, so golden palette. I highly recommend you try the Nubian Earth. 20 bucks, is it affordable for the amount of shades you have in there? You have about 12 shades. To me, this one could have been an easily 15 or $10 palette, truthfully but it is a very, very pigmented palette. And then the reflective glosses, y'all, hands down get Oasis and hands down get Mirage. Oasis is the one you can wear during the daytime or over anything. Mirage is pretty much like that Fenty gloss. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's universal for everyone's skin tone, every undertone, everything. Um, the Nubian Nude and the Moreau. Moreau is definitely for nighttime. It's a very, very royal shade. It's very exquisite, I have to admit, but People won't be wearing that color every day. And the Nubian Nude is nice if you like cool undertones. All the lippies, y'all. The only one I wouldn't recommend, well, I like the shade, but I didn't like how it applied with soul. This one had a little more grit to it, and I was like, er, like a little more matte, well, then slip is easy. It was a little, a little stiffer, but I do recommend to get Nile, y'all, Morocco, and Sheba. Just get all three so i think the browns won in this kind of battle of lippies i highly recommend everyone try any color they may like it's a very good collection anytime juvia's comes out with lippies and her palettes usually they're favorite as hell and they're nice so i'm never mad about that but y'all thank you again for watching me which is nelly doing things don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel which is nelly doing things and as well guys you already know i'm gonna ask let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite shade and or which one do you like, glosses or lipsticks or the palette? Let me know in the comments below. And also guys, don't forget to hit that notification button before you go. You guys already know what I'm about to say. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Bye y'all.